I think they're one both, but at the end of the day, you know, the no Gimia, the American finish the last one by knockout. I love to finish the fight by knockout and I'm super happy with that and we continue that way. How difficult was the, the two split decisions, right? Because you thought you won, but you didn't. So I mean what does that do to your head like mentally do you question everything? Are terrible, man. I never in my career lose two fights in a row and this time two losses in a row, but both two split decisions. A lot of people think that they won, and I think they won, especially on the ship today, they know. But at the end of the day, you don't have to, you know, and yes, for sure it's a lot of pressure, you know, when when I go to to Moron, I also change everything in the last minute, you know. I changed the opening this week, you know, I supposed to go to fight with a Sapo guy, they put me a you know, a junkie, they come in with a four victories in a row, nothing to lose. Um, Thank God I can finish. Thank God I think I can show again that you know ready for for stay with the best waterways, you know, in, in the division. You know, I, I come in doing my work. I won nine fights in my last twelve, two at the split decision, close fight with the tough guys, always fight with the tough guys. Um, again, they give me a big name, you know. I think Kevin Holland is a very tough guy. Um, one of the biggest names in the company and Good victory over here, they're going to put in the conversation for the title. What do you think about the matchup with Holland? Because there seems to be kind of a way to beat him, which is his grappling isn't necessarily at the highest level, but I know you like to kind of go out and fight a little bit and throw hands. So I guess, what do you think stylistically about the matchup? Brother, I don't care what my opponent is going to do, you know. I know him, you know, he, he can punch, he can kick, he can have good submission, you know. He come in blue in every fight, you know. Um, so good fighter, but you know, at the end of the day, I, I don't care too much about what my opponent is gonna do. You know, my plan is always the same: go inside to the cage, go forward and punch in the face. You know, I know I'm gonna catch one, my head, and when my head catch him, I'm gonna make feel him a lot of pain. Are you expecting him to be talking to you in the cage? Maybe he talking, maybe no. We don't know. We want to see. You know, supposed to play. I'm gonna do a lot of crazy things in my fight, and he not did nothing. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but for sure not gonna fight. You know, we we say in Brazil, "Eu sou macaco velho." You know, I have you know a lot of experience in this way, in this game, and um, I don't care if he's gonna talk him. Fuck him. I gonna punch him, him face in the same shape. Last thing for me, uh, with a win, what is the goal here? I mean, you said two losses, but so close to the decision. I mean, do you feel like you still need to be talked about at the top of the division, facing the very best? Of course. I feel like I have the everything to, to have my chance for the best and, and be champion the world. I'm working for that. I take the challenge the UFC give me. I'm not asking for the fight. They come in with the fight. I say, of course, yes. I know this is a challenge. I know this guy is tough. But I know I'm ready to, to finish him and to show to the world I'm, I'm ready to be in the best in the best world always and I'm ready to take my, my opportunity for the best. Sandy. What happened? Sandy. Um, can you put into words what December 2022 meant for you? Not only knockout win, you know, you snapped the losing streak, but also Argentina campeón. Yeah, yeah, man, that's amazing where we continue, you know, we continue the party after the, the world group. But you know, especially for me, very important, you know, because the what I was talking, you know, two loss, but two split decision, um, man, this so bad, you know, for it that I never got to two loss in a row in my career, and, and so close ball, you know, and, and and thank God I can finish by knockout the way that I want to finish the fight. That made me made me happy, and for sure I come super motivated for the fight. And I talked to Gil Canetti and he was mentioning how a World Cup win gave him so much energy as an Argentine athlete, so much pride. Um, I won't wonder what did it do to you? It was certainly a huge moment for the country and we saw what it did for the entire Argentina. No, for sure, man. That was crazy. Really. I told you before that happened. You know, we're going to be champion the world. Uh, it's crazy, brother. Six million people in the street in Argentina doing crazy things. You know, we, it's a big passion, big passion in Argentina. The soccer and that there was an amazing, amazing atmosphere and we continue, we continue the party, we continue to celebrate and we continue celebrating after this Saturday, after I finish Holland. Yeah, and obviously Argentina, you're always wrapping in, I know South 
yourself, Florida and Miami has a special place in your heart as your second home. How good does it feel to be fighting at home? And I'm sure you're going to see a lot of Argentine flags there in the crowd. Yeah, I'm sure, for sure. And there's a lot of Argentinian people, and Miami is the capital for Latin America. No? There's a lot of Latin people here. And I represent, I represent the curve the, the Latin American, the Latin Americans, and I represent, you know, the, you know, the, la raza, you know, the we have, and, and men. I'm ready to put everything in the cage. I don't care how, how, how hard I need to work for take this victory. I'm gonna take these victories. I, I, I give it to my people. Do you think the UFC should make this a destination where they come annually, like once a you know once a year or something? Because that, you know Miami, almost 20 years without a UFC event, as you mentioned, a uh, huge Hispanic market plus Hispanic MMA has been on the rise. Right, right. I think they need to come more often. I don't know. I don't know what is the reason why they're not coming here to Miami. You said 20 years. I'm super happy to be part of this character 20 years. They're back in here. Uh, it's amazing car. I'm very, very happy. And yeah, for sure, I think they need to come on more often. Thank you. Um, Kevin's last fight against Steven Thompson, they kind of made a deal that they wouldn't shoot for takedowns. They wanted to stand up in there. Obviously, after a while, Kevin did shoot for a takedown. But if Kevin came to you and said, no takedowns, stand up only, uh, would you be happy with that? Or do you just want to mix everything up? I don't care, bro. I don't care what he's gonna do, brother. If he's gonna step in front of me, I'm gonna punch him, punch him, him face. I don't care if he tried to take me down, the only floor, only striking. I'm ready for everything. I'm ready to smash this guy. I don't care what he's gonna say in the octagon or he's gonna do. My plan are the same. I'm gonna take him head on. Uh, what are your thoughts on Colby Covington coming back and getting supposedly the next title shot after? I don't know, man. I don't understand. This guy don't fight too much and always pick up the fights. I don't think. I, to be honest, I think they have other fighters that the same amount of opportunity that they call because this is what I think, you know. Um, that's the decision of the company. Of course, it's, it's a competitive guy, but I think, you know, the hero deserves because he not fighting too often and he always very tricky to take the fight. But if this is what the, the company say, we will see what is going to happen in the fight. Final one for me. Uh, what do you think of the main event between Alex and Israel? Oh wow, man, it's gonna be fireworks, man. It's the last chance, the last chance to Israel to take, you know, the the victory and finish with that. Uh, this thing matter, you know. That's that's very important for him. I think the, the psychological factor, you know, is the most important for Israel. He showed that they have the abilities to beat this guy. We will see what is the happen, but that's you know amazing. Main event. Sante, ¿qué otro? Eh, bueno, quería saber si me puedes contar en español un poquito cuáles son tus sensaciones para esta pelea, sabiendo el rival, eh, tu rival si bien eh, se viene dos derrotas también, son peleas importantes las que ha tenido. Y bueno, quería saber cómo te sientes y al respecto para la comunidad latina que también te quiere escuchar hablar en español. Creo que Kevin Holland es lo grande nombre de la compañía. Si bien dos derrotas no creo que lo represente porque una fue contra Chimael, cambio en las 24 horas de división de peso, uno por totalmente diferente al que tenía pactado y después una pelea con Thompson que lo estaba haciendo bien, la estaba hasta incluso ganando y después de que se rompe la mano comienza a pelear ¿no? de otra manera y la termina perdiendo. Si lo hubiera ganado tal vez estaría entre los 6 de la 6 7 de la división. Entonces creo que Mostró que es un peleador competitivo en las 170 libras, anteriormente había tenido dos victorias sobre Tim y Alex Oliveira muy buenas, dos finalizaciones. Creo que es un peleador que en las 170 libras se encaja bien y es muy competitivo. Y creo que es un desafío, ¿no? Es un peleador difícil, un peleador complicado, pero creo que soy mejor. Así que estoy preparado para arrancarle esa victoria. Cueste lo que cueste, lo voy a dejar todo adentro del octavo, lo voy a mostrar el corazón latino que tengo, mostrar la garra latina y regalarle esta victoria a toda mi gente. Eh, sé que lo dijiste en inglés también, pero se podría repetirlo. ¿Cómo crees que una victoria de este sábado te deja posicionado dentro de la, dentro de la división? Mira, creo que como lo dije, eh, Jorge viene mostrando que es un peleador de alto calibre, es uno de los nombres que está dentro de la compañía, y creo que mi trabajo lo vengo haciendo muy bien. Me estoy peleando con tipos duros constantemente, 
eh, vengo obteniendo buenos resultados. Fueron nueve victorias en las últimas dos, en dos decisiones divididas que perdí, que mucha gente piensa que la gané. Entonces, creo que estoy mostrando que estoy ahí en la elite del deporte. Una buena victoria sobre Kevin Collard me va a posicionar ya cerca del título y de hacer una pelea que me lleve, me lleve al título mundial. Gracias. Uh, just for context. The first question was regarding his opponent, Kevin Holland, as a whole. Uh, not only for that, but just to speak to the Latin community that loves him so much. Uh, two things about Kevin Holland. The first one, just a great fighter, and a fighter that this last two, if the last two losses actually impact his opinion of Kevin Holland. They, they don't, because he's a great fighter, and someone that just look, look at the last two losses, one against your man, with so many changes before that card, so many minutes changes, and then what happened with Steve Thompson, everything was okay. He was actually doing pretty well. He could have gone a different way. Had he won that fight, he might have stayed in the sixth, seventh, and the, the division, everything would have been all right. So I do respect him a lot, but I have a plan, and I'm going to come out uh, regardless. And the second thing, uh, I know you spoke, you said that in English, but where does this thing, what, what happens to you if you actually win this fight? And um, basically, if I win this fight, I do believe that I'm going to be positioned well in the division. I, I think I should be, I, I've had, uh, that was in my last 12 fights, the, the split decisions were kind of questionable. Danny. Sorry, just one more quick Santiago, you saw when uh, Kevin Holland tried to DM you on Instagram? Yeah. He posted something on his uh, Instagram, like a DM screen, screenshot. About See, the weight. Yeah, take the weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody, somebody told me about that. I don't check into my Instagram, but listen, if you don't know, we sign a contract. The contract says the weight. If he wants to change the weight, he needs to do it before signing the contract. I don't care, man. We keep talking about everything. This is everything about money, you know. If you put money, we talk it. I don't have problem, you know, but he signed a paper, they say one seventy, you brother. Know? I don't care what he's gonna talk him. Fuck it. <laughs> Hearing that or seeing that, um, is there any concern that he might not need the weight because he's trying to get the fight to be at a higher weight? I don't care, man, it's time to sweat right now, man. He signed the paper, they say paper they say one seventy plus one pound one seventy one is the limit of the division. Start rolling right now. The sun are very good here in Miami. I don't care what he's gonna do, man. I'm doing my, my work. To follow up on Danny's earlier question, I'm just curious with the support of American Top Team being so close to here too in Miami and having the fight here, what is it like for you to have other fighters on the card but also have coaches, trainers, and other fighters at the show supporting you? I'm great, man. I'm feeling calm here, you know, man. Here in Miami, training America top team, you know. I'm super happy to have this opportunity, you know. The car is gonna, it's an amazing car, you know. And I'm super happy to be here, part of that. And my last question is, this week they announced a merger between UFC and WWE, the Pro Wrestling Sports Entertainment. And I'm just curious if you have any thoughts on that and even entertaining pro wrestling or trying to do WWE later on. Why not, why not, man? That's, I think that's a big improvement for the company. They're great, you know, this, you know, the, the, the showing, the, 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 the highest level always, you know, UFC now. I think that's going to help a lot to the company. I'm, I'm happy with that, for sure. Hey, Santiago, uh, I'm going to ask you for you, please, okay, with what we're saying. Yeah, fala um pouquinho da luta do pro pessoal do Brasil, uh, como que você vê essa luta se desenvolar? Eu acho que ele é um cara, um cara habilidoso, né? Ele é bem de chuta, ele é bem cumprido para a divisão, tem uma alcance muito bom, ele tem um box bom, né? uma mão direita perigosa, tem seus rendimentos, um cara completo. Mas ele no jogo dele, ele dá brechas, ele deixa brecha para brincar, o estilo dele dá brechas. E eu sou um cara Como eu falei, eu sou um macaco velho, eu estou preparado para capitalizar os erros dele dentro do Town. Então, eu sei que não vai ser uma luta fácil, mas eu estou pronto para, quando ele errar, acabar com ele. Você acha que aquela falação toda, aquele estilo meio esbochado dele, incomoda, atrapalha ou não? Eu não estou nem aí, mano. Se ele quiser falar, pode falar. Quando ele estiver falando, ele está socando na cara dele. Ele está sentindo muito dor. Eu não sei se ele vai ter tempo de falar nessa luta, mas se ele tentar falar, 
Él va a ser interrumpido por muchos golpes. First thing, can you just say some things about Kevin Holland as a fighter? Uh, how, how do you see him as a, a skillful, uh, as far as his skill set? He's a very skilled guy. He's a good fighter. He does, he does have a strong punch. He does have a great, he has a great right. Uh, he does kick. He's got a lot of range. Um, but you know what? I, I mean, I don't care. I just feel that I want to beat him, and I can, and I, and I can beat him. And, and, but again, I'm gonna go down uh, all the way. And um, word asked, what about all this talking? I don't care. I don't really care about the talking. He can talk me. He's gonna be talking a lot while I'm punching him in the face. So then he can talk. And then to actually to some other point, he actually mentioned uh, uh, a saying in Brazil. Uh, so I'm an old monkey man. That's what we say in Brazil. So come at come at me. You're gonna get it. You can do all the talking while I'm punching him in the face. Uh, one last Cara, eu acho que ele, 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 ele já mostrou né, que ele está na elite do esporte, ele tem um nível técnico para acabar com essa luta. Eu acho que o mais importante vai ser o fator psicológico, não? como vai lidar com essa pressão. É a última oportunidade dele acabar com esse pesadelo né, de botar não? duas derrotas no K1, ora, perdendo o título mundial contra ele. Ele sabe que é a última oportunidade. Vamos ver como ele lida com essa pressão. Não? a pressão da oportunidade de acabar com, com isso, né? se isso não vai gerar uma ansiedade, se isso não vai gerar algo que ele se expor na luta. Se ele, se ele lutar tranquilo com todos os recursos, eu acho que ele vai ser vencedor da luta, mas o fator psicológico é uma questão que às vezes gera muita pressão e não, a gente não sabe como ele vai reagir a isso. Thank you guys.